I was doing forms, katas, different kinds of uh, knife training, double daggers, single daggers, and then a thing called a karambit. And a karambit began in Indonesia as an agricultural tool, used more by women than by men, and, and then it morphed into a weapon. And now there's a whole series of forms that, that it uses. I started because of the role that I had, first for two seasons of Daredevil, and then finally for one season of The Defenders. And I play a, a blind assassin, a martial artist, who works with a lot of blades. So I decided that I would start training with a guy named Dan Anderson, Sifu Dan Anderson, who's sort of the premier instructor of that kind of stuff on the East Coast. The whole thing is under a blanket called Jeet Kune Do, which was a martial art that was essentially created by Bruce Lee. I just like to put as many tools in my tool chest as I possibly can have so that, you know, when the time comes, I, I can actually do some of this stuff. Because if I do those katas and I spar enough and I work enough, my body will start to learn how to make those moves correctly. So if I'm doing a reverse blow with a sword, I won't even have to think. It'll happen on its own if, I, if I've done it, let's say, a minimum of 10,000 times. Somebody asked me when I was going to retire, and my answer was I think I did about 12, 15 years ago. Because I don't do anything that I don't want to do. The strength that I have of being older is I don't give a shit. I really don't. So I don't care about any of that stuff. What I care about is a really interesting, hopefully subversive, hopefully unpredictable character to play that's fun or make a shitload of money, one or the other.